Hi everyone. In this video of algebraic identities, we are going to take up questions related to factorization of algebraic expressions. First of all, in these questions, we are going to identify which identity to use and solve accordingly. So let's start with the question. Factorize the following expressions. So our first question is z square minus 4z minus 77. Now, how to identify which identity to use over here? Out of the five identities that we have learned so far, it cannot be identity 1 as all the terms are positive. It cannot be identity 3 as there are only two terms in the product. Then again, it cannot be identity 4 because that is the square of the sum of three variables. So that is also ruled out. Now we are left with identity 2 and identity 5. Now let us take the case of identity 2. There is only one negative sign in identity 2 that is with minus 2ab and b square term is always positive. So that is also ruled out. Now we are left with only one identity that is identity 5 which is according to the standard form x square plus qx plus r we can easily say that over here x is equal to z, q is equal to minus 4 and r is equal to minus 77. So again we have to think of two numbers such that a and b whose sum is minus 4 and product is minus 77. So we can say minus 11 plus 7 is equal to minus 4 and minus 11 into 7 is equal to minus 77. So over here x is equal to z, a is equal to minus 11 and b is equal to 7. Now we shall substitute these values of x, a and b in our identity 5 and we'll get z whole square plus minus 11 plus 7 in bracket into z plus minus 11 into z. So the factors will be z minus 11 into z plus 7. Now let us move to question number 2. It is given x square plus 25x plus 144. Now according to most of our identities, we identify what is our a and what is our b. So clearly over here a square is 1 which implies a is equal to 1 and b square is 144 which implies b is equal to 12. But the middle term 2ab is equal to 2 into 1 into 12 which is equal to 24 and not equal to 25. So that means it is not our identity 1. Now if you come to identity 2, it has minus sign in between the middle term is minus sign. So that is also ruled out. Now we come to identity 3 which has only two terms in the product whereas in the given question we have three terms. So this is also ruled out. Now identity 4, it, has, it is a square of three variables. So again this is also ruled out. So we are clearly left with identity 5. So it is actually identity 5 whose standard form is x square plus qx plus r. So accordingly x is equal to x over here, q is equal to 25 and r is equal to 144. Now we can say a plus b is equal to 25 and a b is equal to 144. We can say 16 plus 9 is equal to 25 and 16 into 9 is equal to 144. So clearly x is equal to x, a is equal to 16 and b is equal to 9. Now we shall substitute these values of a and b in our identity 5 and we'll get the two factors as x plus 16 into x plus 9. So this is how we have identified which identity to use and then solved accordingly. Now let us move to question number 3. It is given x square plus 5x minus 104. Now if you observe we have the third term as negative and it is not a perfect square number. So it is clearly identity 5. So according to the standard form x square plus qx plus r over here x is equal to x, q is equal to 5 
and R is equal to minus 104. So Q is actually A plus B is equal to 5 and R is actually A into B is equal to minus 104. So we have to find out two numbers A and B such that their sum is 5 and their product is minus 104. We can say 13 minus 8 is equal to 5 and 13 into minus 8 is equal to minus 104. So clearly x is equal to x over here, a is equal to 13 and b is equal to minus 8. So substituting these values of x, a and b in our identity 5, we shall get x whole square plus 13 minus 8 in bracket into x plus 13 into minus 8. So the two factors which we will get is x plus 13 into x minus 8. Now let's move to question number 4. It is given 49x square minus 64. Now over here both are perfect square numbers and there are only two terms in this product. So clearly it is identity 3 where a is equal to 7x and b is equal to 8. So substituting these values of a and b in our identity 3 we shall further write as 7x whole square minus 8 whole square. And we shall get two factors as 7x plus 8 into 7x minus 8. Now let us move to question number 5. It is given x square minus 1 minus 2y minus y square. Now if you observe there are four terms in this algebraic expression. So we need to do some groupings in such a way that we get an identity form of algebraic expression. Now how to do it? We can take x square separately then minus common and in bracket we can write 1 plus 2y plus y square which further we can write x whole square minus in bracket y square plus 2y plus 1. Now if you observe the second bracket this is clearly our identity 1 where a is equal to y and b is equal to 1. Now we shall substitute the values of a and b in our identity 1 and further we will write x whole square minus in bracket y whole square plus 2 into y into 1 plus 1 whole square. Now further because it is identity 1 the factors will be y plus 1 whole square. So we shall write x whole square minus y plus 1 whole square. Now if you observe this algebraic expression, this has now turned into identity 3 where a is equal to x and b is equal to y plus 1. So the factors will be a plus b and a minus b which, which we shall write as x plus in bracket y plus 1 then again x minus in bracket y plus 1. So this is our a plus b and a minus b. Further, we will open the brackets and we will get two factors x plus y plus 1 into x minus y minus 1. So th this is how we have factorized the given algebraic expression. Now let's move to sixth question. It is given 4x minus y whole square minus 12 into x minus y plus 9. Now if you observe there is one negative term over here. And the other two terms are a perfect square number. So it is clearly identity 2. Now if you observe a is equal to 2 into x minus y and b is equal to 3 over here. So we will substitute these values of a and b in our identity 2 and we shall write as 2 into x minus y in bracket whole square minus 2 into 2 in bracket x minus y into 3 plus 3 whole square. Now the factors will be 2 into x minus y in bracket minus 3 whole square which further we will solve and we will get 2x minus 2y minus 3 whole square. So this is are the factors of the given algebraic expression. Now let us move to question number 7. It is given x square plus y minus xy minus x. 
Now there are four terms over here. So we need to group it in such a way that we can take a common factor. So we will write further as x square minus xy minus x plus y. Now if you observe the first two terms over here we can take x common and in bracket we will write x minus y. Then again minus 1 is the common factor between minus x and plus 1. So minus 1 we have taken common and we are left with x minus y in the bracket. Now if you observe x minus y is common in both terms. So what we will do we will take x minus y common and we are left with x minus 1. So the two factors we, which we will get is x minus y into x minus 1. Now we shall move to question number 8. It is given 81 whole square of x plus 1 plus 90 into x plus 1 into y plus 2 plus 25 into whole square of y plus 2. Now clearly all the terms over here are positive and a square and b square are also a perfect square numbers. So clearly it is identity 1. Now if you observe a is equal to 9 into x plus 1 and b is equal to 5 into y plus 2. Now substituting these values of a and b in our identity 1, we shall write further as whole square of 9 into x plus 1 plus 2 into 9 in brackets x plus 1 into 5 into in bracket y plus 2. So this is our 2ab. Now plus whole square of 5 into y plus 2. This is our b square. So now further we will get two factors as 9 into x plus 1 plus 5 into y plus 2 and whole square of this is equal to further we will open the brackets and we will write whole square of 9x plus 9 plus 5y plus 10 which is equal to 9x plus 5y plus 19 whole square. Now let's start with question number 9. It is given x square plus y square plus z square upon 4 plus 2xy minus yz minus zx. Now over here we have 6 terms. So clearly it is identity 4. And another thing to be noted is we have minus sign with the terms having z common. So that means z variable will be negative. Now if you observe a is equal to x over here, b is equal to y and c is equal to minus z upon 2. So now we will substitute these values of a, b, c in our identity 4 and we shall get x whole square plus y whole square plus minus z upon 2 whole square plus 2 into x into y plus 2 into y into minus z by 2 plus 2 into minus z by 2 into x. Now further we will get two factors which we will write in a square form x plus y minus z by 2 whole square. So this is our final factors. So in this video we have factorized various algebraic expressions using different identities. First we need to identify which identity we, use, we should use it and then solve accordingly. So hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much.